So, sorry to inundate you with way too much video, but after those two videos, you deserve to see how I finished this one. Um, I just want you to kind of get a feel for what the overall piece looks like now. I just want to tell you what I did, um, or at least some of the things I remember. You take your little kneaded eraser that I showed you, and um, i actually not even holding my materials right now, um, but this little guy here. Take this little thing here. And I would go around the eye, make a point, and just go pow and pull out. It pulls out pure little stars of light. And that'll create those little moistures. This little moisture right here. Um, and on the lip, I did the same sort of thing. I made the hair all one kind of shade of medium gray. Um, like an HB gray or even a B gray. And then I took my eraser and erased out... Uh, now, notice that highlights don't go like this. They go like that. See that? They go kind of like that, typically. Not with the grain, but against it. Um, and then I took my darker pencils and created shadows in there. I made my darkest darks a little bit darker. Um, I went back over the eyebrows a few times. As you can see, I, I took a whole sort of level of gray across the whole entire face. Um, and then just, I took my, my Kleenex and I just kind of really smeared that all over, being careful not to destroy my lines, of course. And then I took my, um, <clears throat> basically a combination of erasers. It's almost intuitive at some point which erasers you use. Probably mostly my art gum, I think is what I used. And just kind of blended some of that light back into there with that. And then I finally took my Kleenex and... Uh, the difference between the light and the shadow areas I had to go back and smooth over. I took this eraser here again, the kneaded eraser. The kneaded eraser and the mechanical pencil and the uh, micro eraser that looks like a mechanical pencil, those are my last detail uh, dudes. They, they create the, the straightest, most precision light and shadow areas. That aren't there, those aren't the main things, they come last. And I created these little wrinkles in the eyes just to give them some personality. That's not even in the photo, I don't think, really. But, um, that's basically an overview. And what I did here is I put more light here, which makes this shadow look darker. See, this whole area was shadowy, like this, which had two problems. Number one, it made the sh the, the light not come from this side, it made it look like the light was just kind of you know, and it also made his shadow shaped wrong but what it really did is putting that light in made that hair sh hair shadow more resilient and more um more brilliant i guess i should say um i took my a cross between my micro eraser and a pencil and i went back and forth and created this sort of scraggly bits that has some blonde and some black and i will tell you right now one of the hardest things about human faces that i've ever done only allowing myself to use graphite instead of like a, um, colored pencils is to create fine white hairs. But what you can do is you can take your micro eraser that looks like a mechanical uh, pencil and go like this with it and get it to where it's like a, an angle, like a chisel, and then just go pow, 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 pow. Do it again. Pow, 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 pow. You can only get about five or six hairs. But honestly, since the other video I showed you, this has really been only about... 30 more minutes of work, maybe an hour. And that's because, number one, I knew what I wanted. And number two, um, he really was a lot further along than, than that appeared to be. All we had to do was get those last levels of mid-tones. But if you compare this picture to the, the previous one, how much difference, how much more sort of a pleasing sense of real life-likeness there is just by having mid-tones. Otherwise, it's kind of comic booky, and there's nothing wrong with that if that's what you're going for. But if you want something that, that seems like it's um really human or really organic, and I, I use organic in the sense of uh, actual, you know, carbon-based life form, then what you need is you need mostly mid-tone. Um, and we didn't have that. We had mostly light and shadow. So as you can see, um, I added mid-tone everywhere. Uh, that's basically the whole deal. Thanks for watching. And oh, your, your, your background, I want to say one more word um, about backgrounds. If you create a white background, you can get a lot of dirt on it.
if you can if you create a black background it adds a, a whole sense of of drama to it which is very striking but a gray background has one advantage the one advantage to a gray background is there's a sense of cohesion and wholeness here see that and your eye automatically compares everything to the background. It's either lighter than the background or it's darker than the background. If it's white, everything's got to go darker, 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 darker. And we're not really about highlights anymore. If it's black, everything's got to go lighter, 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 lighter. And we're not really thinking rightly about shadow anymore. That goes for both the viewer and the artist creating it. So anyways, that's the whole deal. Um, I hope I didn't bore you. I hope somebody took something away from this. And um, it's been fun to... Uh, to draw this and let's see what else can I say about it oh one more thing on the eyes eyes are the most important part just because we as humans go there first now what you do is you create the dark around the edge you create the dark in the center this is 4b pencil this drawing has no 6b pencil on it by the way that's a that's a level you almost never go to and then you use your tortillion here you never touch this spot obviously and then I took at the very end of my mechanical pencil and I created that feeling of that strange, awesome pattern that the human eye has inside of it with really barely touching it with my mechanical pencil. So I just wanted you to see that a little bit too. Um, basically every part of this has been reworked since the last time, the last video. And I think you can tell now um, how much those last little steps matter. And how much the right philosophy of using your eraser and your blending sticks can really go pretty far. It could be better, but um, I'm pretty pleased with it. So thanks for watching.